Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing a game called Receiver. And it's not because of the fact that we have a gun and the gun has a receiver on it. No, we are playing as a receiver. Uh, someone who can understand these tapes that are left within the world. And they're supposed to help us understand what's going on and be able to escape. Now, what that means, I don't know. I've kind of just gone with the flow and let myself um, wait until I, I got a chance to play the game to understand. But I have to point out a few things. Number one, this is a retro game uh, in the style that it was made in. Number two, this was made in 2006. And one of the things that has impressed me the most is the gunplay or just the way the gun itself works so let's go ahead and pull up the gun real quick you can see that there are no rounds in the um in the chamber um also there are um help me menu over here you'll see that there are two ways to release the slide one is to press r pull it back and let it go the other, let me go ahead and put an empty clip in here real quick. The other way is to go ahead and um, press T and what it'll do is it'll release the slide um, lock and it'll just slide forward. Instead of pulling it back and letting it go, it'll just slide forward chambering around. So it actually does what you would normally do with a gun. It's kind of nice. So. We want to go ahead and put a clip in here, get ready uh, to go, and we're going to take a look at the clips real quick. Um, if you have a situation where, like we do here, we have three clips uh, and you want to even them out. I don't want to do that, but say you wanted to even them out. What you can do is to remove rounds out of a clip, you press R. And if you want to put rounds in the clip, you press Z. There you go. And now we have one pretty full clip. Oh. <laughs> okay, you can do what you want there. And one half clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press Z to put the half clip in. Go ahead and check. And we have chambered the round. Now, we can press V on most guns, not this one, but V on most guns would allow you to put it on safety. But not here, this one is set to fully automatic. So we're not gonna do that, we're gonna go ahead and put the gun down. We'll go to number four, put that at number two, and number three is at number three. All right, per okay. <laughs> stop it stop doing that um all right so now we are good to go I, I like keeping my gun on the holster that way i don't discharge the gun when i don't mean to now i see two shiny things usually that means that they are bullets and maybe something else so let's go ahead and check them out first off check your corners look around the room before you start uh, picking things up just because you never know when a turret is going to be just, you know, right over there or right up there. So we're going to go ahead and go over here. We have a tape and then over here we have a tape. So we're starting with two tapes right off the bat. Which one would be the first tape? I don't know. So we'll go ahead and select this one. Your crude world is not the true reality. Your physical body here is the shadow cast by your transcendent mind. We call this higher plane Reality A, and your world of shadows Reality B. If you are receiving this message in a fictional context, you are at an even deeper level, one that we cannot reach. Because your body is a shadow of your mind, when your mind dies, your body will vanish. In the normal order of your world, death is merely a transition in which your mind is set free. But for victims of the coming mind kill, there is only oblivion. Hmm. Oh, what is that movie 
that had Leonardo DiCaprio in it. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it has that kind of vibe to it. So this is not our reality. This is our mind's reality. And so if our mind is killed, if we are to be um, taken out in here, then our body will be as well taken out. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I've left the clips out just because of the fact we're seeing some rounds in here. Um, first off, let's go ahead and finish this clip off. There you go. That one's done. This one's going to be done here, and we can actually start going into the third clip, which is amazing. Um, we need all the rounds we can get, so... Let's go ahead and check out what's going on here. We have a flashlight, looks like a single bullet, and a tape. Whoa, that is a light. If you recently started receiving, you may wonder why the training tapes are so important. Over the last several decades, your media has been slowly corrupted to be used against you. By feeding your mind a constant stream of damaging ideas, your view of reality has been warped to fit into a sinister agenda. How can one tape listened to once possibly have an impact on the face of a lifetime of accumulated deception? It can only have the smallest effect, but even that small effect can be built on. If you listen to that tape 100 times, you may notice a difference in how you feel. If you listen to the tape a thousand times, you will be transformed. And if you listen to the tape a million times, you will become more than human, an awake receiver. Listen to as many tapes as you can. Listen to them as often as you can. Okay, so as you can see here in our menu on the side, let's go ahead and press and hold the question mark. There's no way to actually listen to the tapes again also why would i want to listen to the tapes again once i have the information i have the information now i understand the point of what he is saying it's just um yeah so all right so now we have two parts of 11 and we need to try to find all of the tapes now there are two types of drones in this game there are the turrets on the ground and there's um, flyers they use a single uh, turbine to fly so uh, hopefully by taking out that you will take out the flying ones and then I don't know about the um, about the other ones so what I'm thinking is that we need to travel in one direction and get to the very end now is there an end is there one direction we really won't know until we get to that point and guess what <laughs> right there is nice all right we'll keep the gun holstered as much as we can just because Last thing I need to do is waste ammo. Hello, we're meeting all of the uh, robotic types here. Hello. Whoa, 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 we good, we good? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go ahead and put that away for a moment. So as you can see, it's tilting down. Still wouldn't want to get in front of that though. It looks like the light that was controlling it is off. Let's go ahead and take a look what's going on here. So it looks like there's a wire that led down to this base. It must have been going to the um how oh, to the uh servo that was turning it back and forth and then this must be the battery. Oh, well, that's no, that's the ammo pack there. And then you have the gun here. So, I mean, if I wanted to, I could throw the um, throw bullets into the side to try to take out the gun. But it looks like if I take it out at the base, that's probably going to be a better way to go. All right. So, let's keep looking around. Again, bullets are our friends. 
Take that number five. <laughs> Throw some more bullets into it. Put it on number four. Also, we're going to just take a look over here. I know we have some stairs that can go up. If we can keep going forward without going up, that's perfect with me because we're trying to get to one end again, like I said before. Check, check your corners. Okay, sees me. Doesn't see me. Okay, that is not safe. <laughs> um, just look over there, nothing there. Yeah, definitely don't want to get in front of that. Um, I'm okay. Okay, that is interesting. Can I put, can you put, can you put that down? There's no way to put that down. Why would I want two flashlights? Huh? <laughs> now I have two flashlights. That's annoying. Okay. That was kind of careless of me walking straight out into the middle of that. Music's getting louder as well. That's uh, interesting. Ooh, our third tape. You are listening to the first tape of the Perpetual set. This set of tapes represents the most critical receivings so that future humans will have the information they will need after the mind kill. This set, when listened to sufficiently and in its entirety, has been speculated to be the minimum teachings needed to achieve an awake state. An awake state. Besides this tape, the tapes included in this set are Firearm Operation, Initiation Tape A, Mind Tech, Reality B, Mind Tech Clear Tape, Mind Kill Contingency, Kill Drones, Repeated listenings. The clear tape. Awake. Okay. So, if we if we find all the tapes, it, we will become awake. So that is um. This game. <laughs> it's so interesting already. All right, so we're we're keeping we're keeping solid with a good two clips so far. Um, let's just keep keep moving. Oh, hello. You don't want to play. You kind of vicious over there. hit okay well I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and end it here uh, you'll see that you start different with a new weapon every time but we'll go ahead and end here and we'll try again next time hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, we will talk to you then this is Cypher Deck peace out